Localized damaging wind, small hail, a heat wave, and a lot of rain today. Good morning, I'm meteorologist Pew. Today is July 24, 2025, and we have a pretty straightforward weather day today. Today, we only have a marginal risk or a one out of five stretching from the Great Lakes to the Central Plains to the High Plains. And what that entails is that we're going to have a lot of heavy rain today with some localized wind threats throughout the risk areas, but also a localized hail threat within Michigan and in the High Plains. In terms of flash flooding, the Weather Prediction Center has issued a slight risk or a two out of four from Chicagoland all the way to the Southern Plains. And in these areas, we're going to see rainfall total about one inches in the next 24 hours with some places scattered to isolated about two to three inches of rain. For the time frames it looks like the storms are going to start initiating around 19z or 2 p.m central time and that's 1 p.m mountain time. Taking a look at satellite imagery we have a really cool feature right now. We have multiple MCVs or mesoscale convective vortexes which are basically localized circulation. You can almost think of it as like a mini low pressure system. So in the low levels it's going to provide surface convergence with the winds and so when they converge you got the ground so they can't go down as much so they got to go up and that's going to promote more upward motion and in addition to that because they're providing circulation it's going to provide more vorticity which is basically more spin for the updrafts which is going to enhance it and along with that if we look at the surface we can see that we have a really broad cold front that goes all the way from canada to the great lakes to the plains into the high plains and this is going to provide even more surface lifts for this area taking a look at 300 millibars away up in the troposphere where we see the jet stream we can see that we still have that really long ridge and that's going to provide us with the high pressure that's sitting in the southeast so if we go back down to the surface we can see that high pressure and it's still bringing in that warm moist air from the south into the Midwest. And with that said, that's why we still have this ongoing heat wave that's going through the Midwest right now and traveling eastward. So heat indexes can be as high as 110 today. So if you're gonna be outside, please don't be outside actually. Though the good news is, is when this cold front comes through and these thunderstorms pass by, it's gonna drop in a lot of cooler, drier air. And so you're gonna see relief once these storms have passed. Looking at 500 millibars and midway through the troposphere, we see that we don't really have that much wind shear in the areas that we're concerned about. Except for around the Great Lakes area, we can see that we have a bubble of wind speed around the Chicago area and that's going to be headed into Michigan and what that's going to do is going to tilt those updrafts and prolong the storms that do form in Michigan and with these enhanced updrafts it's going to keep the precipitation afloat a little bit longer which is going to help with the hail formation and that's probably why we have a localized hail in Michigan today. Now for the high plains it's a completely different story in terms of wind shear they don't really have that much so any storms that do form here probably won't last that long which also means that they don't have really good updrafts. In terms of the high plains they are in higher elevation which means in terms of altitude they are much closer to the freezing point which which is the level where air temperature is going to reach zero degrees celsius or 32 degrees fahrenheit and what that means if we compare it to somewhere like michigan because the freezing point level and the ground are much closer relative to somewhere like michigan where they're much higher any precipitation that does fall will have less time to melt into what we see as rain which is why they are more likely to get hail whenever a severe weather event happens and that's why we have